God bless you. You know what? We all need reminders, don't we? Especially nowadays on our cell phones. I am so grateful that I can do reminders. But today we're going to discuss a great reminder. That's right. Thank you for joining us for our next Be Resplendent episode. We're so happy to have you guys with us. Yes. Allow us to pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we just thank you so very much for this time. Thank you, Lord God, for all our viewers and our listeners to this new Be Resplendent episode. God, I pray that in their lives that they're resplendent, that they stand out and shine for you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ. God, I pray you strengthen them. We pray that this word will fall on good godly ground and bear good godly fruit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you, O oh God, for this opportunity that this will go to the four corners of this world, O oh God, and be such an encouragement to every single person in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. What a friend we have in Jesus. Oh, what a, yes. What a blessing to have Jesus on our side. Yes. And to know that he promised a very, uh, his very presence to always be with us and yes. to be our helper every single day. You know, yes. well, it's Absolutely. a blessing. Absolutely. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our first scripture is going to be in um, Psalm 94, verses 18 and 19. And what I love about it is that I'm going to read it from the New King James Version first. And we may even touch in a New Living Translation to Amplify, which is what we usually use. But hear this out. It, it says, If I say, if I say, my foot slips, mm -hmm. your mercy, O Lord, will hold me up. Mm -hmm. Isn't that awesome? Mm -hmm. If I say, my foot slips, mm -hmm. your mercy, O Lord, will hold me up. In the multitude of my anxieties within me, your comfort delights, delight my soul. Thank you, it does. Jesus. It does. I love yes. that. I love that so much. it's showing that, you know, we may slip, we may fail, we may fall, but God is still loving us. His unfailing love comes and supports us. He doesn't kick us when we're down. That is true. He doesn't kick us when we're like made mistakes and like constantly accusing us. No, his loving kindness is right there. His unfailing love to come and be a support to us. And when anxiety, and the Bible speaks here in the New Living Translation in verse 19, when doubts fill my mind, when we're anxious or doubts are filling our mind, the Bible goes on to say here and your comfort gave me a renewed hope and cheer why because his presence is there to constantly comfort us and to com constantly support us and fill us up and to remind us that he's right there that's right the closest person that you can ever have on your side is jesus christ himself Amen? that's right Jesus on the inside, mm -hmm. working on the outside. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a change in Amen. our lives. Amen. What a great reminder. A great a reminder. A great reminder for every single believer. Amen. I, I love it. I, I know you reference a New Living Translation that says, I cried. I'm slipping mm -hmm. out. I'm yes. slipping. But your unfailing love, oh Lord, supported me. I love how you mm -hmm. emphasize supported. Yeah. And God you know, supports us, ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. but we must turn to him. Right. I know we, there's a lot of other sources out there yes. and there's nothing wrong with those sources, mm -hmm. but we must first put God first mm -hmm. and say, Lord, you are my support. Mm -hmm. if, Espe if, especially, especially when you have mm -hmm. sometimes, uh, maybe like you do have a family member that you feel is very supportive of you or a friend or a spouse, you know, someone that you feel really supports you, a coach. Mm -hmm. um, God doesn't want us to look to them more then we look to him. That's right. Because God is using those people to be an encourager. And, you know, we're supposed to be cheering one another on and encouraging Correct. one another. But the greatest reminder that we have today is that we have him. Amen. And that he is our greatest support and, and compassionate and loving friend that we can ever have. And John chapter 16, verses 26 and 27, the Bible tells us, but when the father sends the advocate... 
as my representative. That is the Holy Spirit. Yeah. He will teach you everything and he will remind you of everything I have told you. That's right. I'm leaving you with a gift, peace of mind and peace of heart. And the peace that I give is a gift that the world can't give. So don't be troubled or afraid. That is the great reminder. That is the great Oof. reminder that he constantly is telling us every single day that when Jesus yes. died on the cross and then he rose from the grave and he went now to be our very advocate between us and, and to God. That's right. He's constantly praying, constantly interceding on our behalf. But he also promised his 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 spirit, his presence to be That's with us. Right. And that is the reminder. Why? So it's, that we can have peace of mind and heart. That's why we're gonna repeat and we it. Need it's it. a great we need reminder. It. Mm -hmm. When you know you, you have anxious thoughts that multiply yes. within you. Yes. And we know we all do that on time mm -hmm. at times, unfortunately, anxious thoughts begin to multiply. You're like, what in the world is going on? Mm -hmm. How am I gonna get out of this? The Bible is saying, do not forget what John 16, mm -hmm. 26 and 27 says. And that's why we're encouraging you with God's holy word because his word will not return void. Yes. Think about it. He's literally saying, peace I leave with that's you. Right. My perfect peace right. I, I give to you. He's mm -hmm. giving it to you. It's yes. a free gift. Each of us. <laughs> and not as the world, as Pastor Natalie said, clearly said, we depend on you know, coaches, life coach, different individuals. That's all and good. But we must say, Lord, thank you. I will not let my heart be troubled, nor I will not be afraid. Why? Because, Lord, you let your perfect peace calm me in every circumstance. Yes. you got to say, Lord, your peace, some way, somehow, I don't get it. I don't understand it. I don't even have to get it. But, Lord, I thank you mm -hmm. for this perfect peace that, that you give me. Mm -hmm. Even when my, my, my anxious thoughts multiply. Yes. Even when there's yes. times where I just need some courage. Yep. He said, Lord, I thank you. You give me your perfect peace yes. in every circumstance. Not some, mm -hmm. but in every circumstance. Mm -hmm. And that's why sometimes you see individuals who are strong in faith and you, you say, what in the world? Look, mm -hmm. they're going through so much. They do, they're dealing with this, dealing yeah, with that. Yeah. And they're walking around saying, great is thy faithfulness. Mm -hmm. New mercies I see. Mm -hmm. Lord God, I thank you for the running water. I thank you for a cup mm -hmm. of water. They're finding mm -hmm. little things to be grateful for, yeah. knowing that, that they may have anxious thoughts. They might have really battling and saying, God, I need strength for every challenge of life. Mm -hmm. But God, you are the source of my strength. Mm -hmm. And it's not, it's not a... Um, it's not like a, a dose of medicine. It's Correct. you know what I mean. Like Correct. his peace and his strength and courage. It's not coming from a dose of medicine. You know, it is something that is promised to us. It's a gift that he yes. gives us and wants yes. us to live in that peace yes. every single day in the midst of any storm. And there could be you know like right now you know young people you know going to college and being afraid of that shift and that change and all that's going to be required of them to 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 um you know try to live in a new place a dorm or live in an apartment and and you know you know having a whole different thing that they have to uh the different challenges that may face them and god is saying i want to give you courage i want to give you strength as you go through this and you and you face these things that's right there's some right now that they're like you know i i um i need food right now i need to eat food i need to feed my family and god is saying god's going to give you the courage and the strength and the wisdom to know what to do how to do it you know it's amazing that you know with little when we place it in god's hands he multiplies it why because we're seeking him and then he gives us that peace and that understanding and clarity what to do it's amazing one piece when of chicken seek him. one piece of chicken you know i have had one piece of chicken where i've had to multiply not me but i have had to ask god how can one piece of chicken be multiplied to to feed the family and that one piece of chicken not only fed the family but fed the family for like three three days and that's god that's God that, that does was, that. That was such a modern-day miracle. I'm like, Lord, you've done that so <laughs> yeah. many times, and we thank you. Mm -hmm. Now, as you were saying, seeking him mm -hmm. and receiving from him, mm -hmm. think about this, ladies and gentlemen. It's Hebrews 13, verse 6. 
Hebrews 13, verse 6. Hold on to this, ladies and gentlemen. It says, so we take comfort. You can take comfort. Mm -hmm. So we, we, ladies and gentlemen, take comfort and are literally encouraged. Mm -hmm. And we are encouraged and confidently say, because we're seeking him and receiving from him. So we take comfort and are encouraged and confidently say, what do we, what do we confidently mm-hmm. say? Yeah. Listen to this. The Lord is my helper in time of need. The Lord is my helper in time of need. I will not be afraid. What will mere, what will man do to me? Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you, Mm -hmm. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Think about that. Yeah, and because the fear of man can can leave a snare, can leave a trap, because we could get so overwhelmed Mm -hmm. with man, you know, so to speak, you know, the circumstances that we face. And God is saying, no, 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 no. I'm your helper. Yes. You don't have to be more afraid of them. Just know that I'm bigger than any circumstance that you're facing and I want to comfort you and encourage you through this. And also, as times may come, you know, we, we walk with the Lord, right? And trials and tribulations yes. come and we have to hold on to the Lord and push through. And then there's, maybe there's a little time of just, you know, recharging and the Lord just spirits you. You walk in some mm-hmm. tremendous blessings, we pray. But if situations do occur, you know, a little tough situations here and there don't think there's something spiritually wrong know that the lord is saying this and this is what i i love about the scriptures was in first peter 5 7 think about this is real life now you're just walking going forward in life first peter 5 7 says this so okay you just finished saying lord you are my helper right Mm -hmm. you are you i'm not going to be afraid what can man do to me Mm -hmm. god i i take comfort in that and you you're trusting god and yet maybe something occurs, and God willing, it will not. But if it does, and you know, things do happen, unfortunately. Say this, what 1 Peter 5, 7 says. Casting all your cares, all your anxieties, all your worries, and all your concerns, once and for all, mm-hmm. on Him. For He cares about you with deepest affection and watches over you very carefully. Mm-hmm. The and, Bible is so it's true. So, it's so clear, though, yes. that it's saying all. Yes. It's not saying some of these things are so big that God can't take care of it. Mm-hmm. No, it's saying casting all, every single thing, give it all to God. Your anxiety, your worries, the concerns. Yes. And and I love this part when it's saying casting all your cares. It's also meaning doing it once and for all in other words you don't have to pick it back up and be worried again Mm. once you've cast the care on him give it to him you leave the care there you leave the worry there and you let god take care of it that's right his will and his ways are fantastic and far from our great understanding it's like even if we think we understand it we cannot comprehend the ways of god and the way he moves these are great reminders, and that's why today in, in this episode, we really felt very strongly we all need to be reminded that God loves us. God is our comforter. He's our, he, he's our mm-hmm. very dearest friend. He cares about every single care that you have, every everything that you're battling and anxiety, worrying about, um, things that you're fretting over. Maybe you've been so afraid of, of man, and God is saying, please cast it on me. God is Saying, I'm bigger than these things. Let me bring yes. a renewed sense of hope. Let me remind you today that I'm God and I've got yes. the whole thing in my hands and let him arise yes. and let him do only what he can do right now on your behalf in the name of Jesus. Let's pray. Father, we thank you so very much for your encouragement of this great reminder knowing that you are faithful and true. God, I thank you so very much that even if we feel like we're slipping, that you are our support, that you care for us so much, that you would fill us, God. When doubts come, you fill us, oh God, with your comfort and you, you renew our hope. 
and give us even some cheer. And we want to say thank you for yes, that, Lord. Lord. God, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, that for your loving compassion, your loving kindness will surround all of our viewers, God, here on YouTube in the name of Jesus Christ, God. And for those all that are watching, oh God, and listening in other parts, God, I pray you would strengthen them. God, we think about all of them that are watching here in the United States of America, yes. and we pray for all of them, God, that are watching throughout the world, that God, no matter what they're facing, God, I pray, oh God, that you, oh God, the Holy Spirit will teach them everything and remind them everything that your word says to them, that they will hold on to your word, and they'll say, you know what? I know things may not be going my way, but I'm going to trust in God. He is my helper. He is all that I need. I take comfort in him, and I will confidently say, that the Lord is my helper. God is my helper. And Lord, and if any anxieties and feelings may come up again and again, God, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that they will cast all of those anxieties, all their cares, all their worries on you continuously, trusting in you, knowing that you care for them with deepest affection. God, renew them. Remind them, Lord, how much you love them. I pray miraculous breakthroughs for every single person, that the blood of Jesus Christ will be upon them, that, Lord, that no weapon formed against them will prosper. God, I pray that you would cover all of us with the blood, the blood of Jesus yes. Christ. God, I pray, oh God, that you would send total confusion yes. to the plans of the enemy, that you would literally mess up the plans of the enemy. Yes. God, I pray, oh God, as we cast our cares upon you, God, and in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God, help us to hold on to your word that over and over and over and over and over again, we'll see the Lord. The Lord is our helper in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Amen. If you've never asked the Lord Jesus Christ into your heart right now to say, Father, yes. I want to have a relationship with you. Yes, Lord. I want to know you as my dearest friend. I want you to be my Lord and my Savior. Come into my heart. Forgive me of my sins. And please, God, fill me up as, they, as they've been talking about this helper. I want the helper. I want the Holy Spirit to be yes. in my life and to help me through all my trials and everyday life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 If you guys need any more prayer, um, if you just prayed the, the prayer of salvation, contact us at contact at .com. We would love to to hear from you and know how we can further help you and walk That's you right. through and the Lord That's right. And what can God. also help you is that if you tune in mm -hmm. um, and, you know, be a part of our prayer meetings on Tuesdays at 7 p.m., let just, just, just be a part. That will help you grow your mm -hmm. spiritual growth. And then when we're Sundays at 930, that will just really, just, just a way of you being encouraged in the way, in, in the ways of the Lord. Just be a strength in Jesus' mm -hmm. name. We want to say thank you so very much for subscribing to this channel. And if you haven't, would you please consider doing so and sharing this channel. Yes. And also, you know, giving a like right now go ahead hit the thumbs up in jesus name and just drop us a comment say praise the lord say thank you jesus give amen. god all the glory say stand out and shine for jesus amen. we would love to hear from you and thank you for subscribing to all of our um you know all Following of our us. all of all of our social media yeah. it's such a blessing yeah and please so it's so awesome to know that we have all our our followers on all our social media yeah. right and That's podcasts right. but i want to thank each of you also who take time to read my blogs on let's take a moment.com and i want to thank you also for following me at examine moments in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, we love you guys and we appreciate yes. you so very much. Yes. We love to end our each broadcast this way. And this is something that we want you guys to take deeply in your heart and walk out every single day. So ladies and gentlemen, please do not forget to do this. Stand, Stand out and shine for Jesus, Jesus Christ. God, God bless, bless you. you. We love you. We love you.